Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Let's Learn PT. Today we're going to be learning about two abnormal posturings. Essentially we're going to be learning about decorticate and decerebrate rigidity and how to differentiate between the two. So with decorticate rigidity, our upper extremities are in this rigid flexion pattern. And with decerebrate, our upper extremities are in this rigid extension pattern. So the way I like to remember that is with decorticate, I look at cord right in the middle of the word. And then I think, okay, cord, spinal cord, and then I automatically associate them. Okay, the spinal cord is at the midline of the body, and then boom, it clicks. So our upper extremities are stuck in this flexion rigidity pattern right here with decorticate rigidity. And then it's only a process of elimination with the cerebrate. The upper extremities must be in extension. So we know what the upper extremities are doing in both of the patterns. So now we're looking at the lower extremities. With both, easy to remember, trunk and lower extremities in extension. So now what we're moving on to next is where that lesion is at, what level that lesion is at. So essentially with the corticate, it is an indication of a lesion of the corticospinal tract at the diencephalon. So the cerebrate is an indication of a lesion of the corticospinal tract again, but this time at the brainstem. The way I like to remember this one is, I look at Sarah and the word decerebrate, and then I think Sarah, cerebrum, and I think brain. Now the cerebrum is not the brainstem. Don't make that association. Just use it to think Sarah, cerebrum, boom. Think of the word brain with cerebrum, and then remember that with the cerebrate, it is indicative of a lesion at the corticospinal tract, at the brainstem. Simple as that, just using those two coins to remember the corticate. Upper extremities are in that flexion rigidity pattern. And with the cerebrate, cera, it's at the brainstem. All right, that's all I got for you guys today, just differentiating between those two abnormal posturings. Let me know what you guys want to see next week, and I'll cover it. Thank you for viewing. Follow us on Instagram at Let's Learn PT.